Yum, yum. Hi, my name is Daniel Smith, and I am going to be helping you to understand setting up dynamic folders inside of Nuke with this quick tip. If you've ever moved a folder or changed a directory structure to your composite, you'll be greeted with this error, this red banner of death that says it cannot find the files that you have. Now this is mainly brought on because the file structure here is an absolute path to the C drive and it's pointing to a location of wherever the files originally came from. We need to make this into a dynamic folder path that will be relative to the script. Now this is fairly easy because what we're gonna use is this Python command right here. When evaluated by a closed bracket, we'll print out where the script is saved at. Right now it's saved onto my desktop in a folder called CopterShot. So what this tells us to do is to take this command and copy it into our project settings under project directory. We can paste it there or we can hit this hot button which will auto fill it in. Once it's there we can go to each one of our image sequences and go to the copter shot and the path below that and replace it with a dot forward slash. This will now dynamically read the image file into the read node. Continue to do this for all of your read nodes and eventually all your read nodes will be correctly set up and your shot will be now completely relative to the script folder and you'll be able to move it from a flash drive to your hard drive to sending it to a client as one package in a much easier and more professional way. I'm Daniel Smith. Thank you for watching and it looks like I got to go check on my renders. Yum, yum.